check out my Michigan rappers, King Sound and G Mac Cash. Just dropped the new hip hop singles. The Butchers is out on all digital platforms. Make sure you tune in and check them out. The Butchers by King Sound and G Mac Cash. Links in the description. Make sure you check it out. YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple, uh, regular YouTube. So make sure you go support these brothers, man. And uh, peace. Hey, man, I know y'all been hearing the rumors about Shakir Stevenson taking on Tank November 23rd in the great state of Nevada, great city of Las Vegas. I'm here to address it. Reached out to one of my people. They reached back expeditiously and said that it's a lie and it's true. Pretty much uh, nothing is imminent. Um, they still far away in negotiations, but they are negotiating. Um, November 23rd is a date that they speaking on. I think Tank birthday right around there too. Um, so yeah, he said they still far apart. And it's, you know, I've never been in a box of negotiating, negotiations, so I only can imagine the things that go into those negotiations. Um, you know, who walk first, you know what I'm saying? You know, petty shit like that. Um, financial split. Shakira Stevenson, you know, is going around social media that he said he just, he was, he'd take $6 million. I never think you should cap yourself. Um, cause guess what? Well, if they was willing to pay you 10, you know what I'm saying? You said six, all right, we get this dumb nigga six here. Boom, boom, boom. You see what they talking about? You never put a number out there, especially publicly. You see what they talking about? See what they, how the math is mathing. They got Jay Prince as his manager. Um, and probably a lot go into that negotiations too, because without Bob, do they try to sign him to PBC? And if I were to sign with Al Heyman as my advisor, it would have to be on a short term basis. If I'm secure, Stevenson one, two, I would have to have some assurances in there regardless. Obviously, guarantee and certain other fights I would want. You got rematch clauses, obviously, financially, uh, you know, and all those type of things. So, I, I necessarily, I wouldn't want to assign my life away. It, he has Terrence Crawford as a lifeline as well, too. So, yeah, he got Terrence Crawford as a lifeline because Terrence Crawford already negotiated with Al Heyman before. So, um so that 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 kind of make the transition go a little bit smoother for him. So um, from that aspect, but right now they far apart, uh, you know. And could they structure out a deal with Lomachenko got and offer it to him? So mo most of the groundwork be done in a way, shape, form, and fashion. That should be what it is. But he no longer with top rank. So some of that 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 language in there is probably tied through top rank now. We don't know. Secure Stevenson go back to top rank and had him broker this deal. He can go to Eddie Hearn and had Eddie broker this deal. Or, you know, he can have Jay Prince's management broker out a deal with Premier Boxing Champions or TGB or whoever going to be the promoter he's going to be signed to. So, Secure Stevenson is a more popular fighter than Lomachenko. And people fail to realize that, that he actually sell tickets. He sold in Vegas. He sells in Jersey. Lomachenko sells nowhere. And somebody said, well, you know, uh, I think they pay-per-view sold with Devin Haney and Lomachenko played a part in it, man. Lomachenko ain't play shit. Lomachenko don't sell in the UK. He didn't sell in LA. In New York City, he was in a small room. You know, and at the end of the day, that you know, that fight was big with Devin Haney because of Devin Haney. And because uh, of ESPN, because what he did in Australia and they translated it over you know, the storyline, but Lomachenko, don't nobody care about Lomachenko. That's why Tyson Fury never came back to America for real. Without Deontay, he was a nobody. America won a good, white, old-fashioned, white champion. Born and raised in America, you know what I'm saying? They adopted Conor McGregor, but imagine if McGregor was from Alabama, if he was from Cali or something like that, or New York City, like Joe Smith Jr., Conor McGregor be the greatest. He could be on the 10-fight losing streak. He'd be the greatest thing since sliced bread. But they like to attach that uh, that narrative of the black fighters that they can't sell. And I just dropped a video I did about a few weeks ago. But I dropped it the other day talking about how they always complain about how black fighters don't sell. And it's not true. All the top fighters selling fighters in boxing are, are, are majority black. 
outside of Canelo Alvarez, Mongia, to name a few, the sellers, Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford, Deontay Wilder. Um, uh, who else we got out there? Javante Davis, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson. We got Ryan Garcia. You know, um, uh, man, uh, drawing a blank here. But like most of the top selling fighters are black. They are black. You know what I'm saying? They are. You know, all the top guys that sell, you put a top 10 list over on body, you're going to have a Anthony Joshua in there. You know, but other than that, they, the majority of them is black. But, you know, for the most part, for Shakur, um, you know, seem like he want to fight. And when things get quiet, you don't see Tank going back and forth online. You don't see Shakur really saying nothing. When things go quiet and things go bleak, and you don't hear nothing, you get real quiet, no static in the headphones, you know. I mean, the fight getting made. I mean, they really getting the business. They really going back and forth. They really chopping money, chopping numbers up. You know, how often does Shakur work with Al Heyman? Not often. So they getting to know each other, getting to know what he about, seeing what the money about, how we going to get paid, how it's going to play out. You know, should we do a tune up? They gonna go right into it. And I told y'all, they have to put Tank. They have to put Tank in big fights now because they need Tank to be the breadwinner. They need Tank to be the cash cow. You can't be the cash cow, you know, and you not fight nobody. Mayweather not coming back to you know. If y'all really ain't paying attention, Al Heyman, Mayweather ain't fuck with Al Heyman. That's when they said, well, Al Floyd to come back and do an exhibition in December. They thought Floyd coming back doing one exhibition was going to re-up the relationship with Showtime. They thought they was going to be able to get extension based off that relationship. And they was like, nah, if they were to extend, extend, extend PBC, Mayweather had to come back and fight lucrative fights. He didn't want to come back and fight nobody for real. And when he be fighting under the PBC banner, allegedly he don't be seeing that money. The majority of that money, he don't be seeing it. Or a lot of it, he don't be allegedly seeing that money. So he got tired of getting pimped by Al Heyman, allegedly. And Al need a new, a new hole to put on the blade. And now he going to lose Jews, Javante Davis, top Davis money up for years to come, allegedly, and pimp him as a cash cow. So all of a sudden, it came time where they, you know, Earl Spence fumbled it. Floyd Mayweather got smart, got the fuck on, cut the middleman out, started making his money. He started plugging his Plugging, plugging in directly. Everything Floyd Mayweather doing, traveling and doing these exhibitions and plugging in and cutting the middleman out and plugging in with the money man and the networks or, or the promoter, the other promoters directly is what 50 Cent told him to do tw about 15, 16 years ago. That all I, got, I bring up, 50 Cent was telling him to do that years ago. He was telling him that Al Heyman was butt breaking his ass, but he didn't want to listen. Probably didn't have the autonomy to listen. And had to control. Control. You know, so. And I'm playing a dirty game. You want to do business with a motherfucker you can't touch. That, that's scared to walk into a room. Unless the window's covered, man. A lot of these fighters, when they see what Al Heyman about. And they money funny. And, you know, they fucked up and on their knuckles. They, gonna, they deserve what they get. I'm not doing no deal with no motherfucker who don't want to be seen in public. And somebody on Facebook was like, well, you know, y'all blame Al Heyman a lot for a guy that never said nothing. Dude, that's why y'all niggas be getting pimped by the, and used by these niggas out here and pimped by these hoes. That's why y'all be listening to these motherfuckers. Watch what they do. I always tell y'all that. Watch, watch what people do. Their intentions and what they say, a lot of times with the majority of people, is two different things. They say one thing and do him. She say she want a guy like you, nice guy. Nice job, you know, solid car, you know, just some security. But then she giving the honey buns to the bun, to, to the pookie and the right right to the hood nigga. <laughs> and she making you wait. Absolutely not. But uh but on, on some real shit, you know, um they in negotiations, they still far apart. Um and really, you know, if they get a, a fight done. If I had to, if I had to guesstimate, no inside information, you probably gonna hear sometime in September. If I, if if they shooting for an actual date to announce it, it's gonna be Canelo and Berlanga weekend. 
if they get if they get a deal if they are going to get a deal done and they're going to do this fight and they're serious about doing this fight it's going to be canelo berlanga they're going to announce it right around that time that's just me guesstimating but that's how they operate so so some in addition to drive drive the media there so they can use tank and secure to boost the numbers and what's so funny about it, it's going to be you know predominantly spanish media there Puerto Rico, Mexico, um, but you know, Secure saying he wants six million. If, if that quote was true, I ain't mad at him. Get your six million dollars, player. I mean, that's what you you know guesstimate your worth to be at. That's what you really want. Um, I ain't mad at it. Get your money. Get your money, mine. That's what I would say. Get your money. Get your money. Get your money. Get your money. Six mil is is, is a solid number. Um, you know, it was offering three mil minimum, five fights. You know, you double that up, you know, that minimum up in one fight. Six, and if, the, if it do well on pay-per-view, shit, you might see up north of, of six, seven, eight, nine, ten million. So, um, interesting. A lot of people going to want to see Tank shut Shakur Stevenson mouth. And Shakur Stevenson lose this fight, you know, or he makes this fight really, really boring. You know, they, they could be the end of his career right here. You know, depending on where his confidence level is as a fighter, but you know, um, you might you you gonna get the you might get the best Shakur Stevenson in this fight. You might get the best Shakur Stevenson, but you know, Coach Calvin already said that he didn't like this fight for Shakur for he didn't like this style for Tank Davis. When you got your coach saying, "Well, I don't like this style, I don't like that style," that mean it's gonna be some difficult. It's gonna be difficult. You know, and I told y'all what he got to do. Tank throw a lot, tanks will go through a lot of wild shots. So you got to punch in between those wild shots and not just punch from a distance, step in. He coming wide, step in, step in. They both southpaws, step in. Sometimes you step in with a hard jab and smother him, that would be enough to keep his hands at bay. A lot of them niggas, they, they, he, throw, he throw power shots and they ball up. Don't get hit regardless. Keep your chin tucked, keep your hands up, step in with a stiff jab. Exactly what Terrence Crawford did. He throw a hard shot. What Crawford do? If he slipped it, he caught it and returned it. You can't just make Tank get off on you and, and block it and punch and not return. You got to return fire. His counter punching and his and him his counter punching is going to be huge in this fight. And him leading off, you know. But I I to break the fight down a different time. So hey, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Check out the Patreon. Appreciate Patreon gang gang. Pretty sure y'all enjoy it. Um, links in the link tree. Uh, appreciate y'all. Peace.